There's been a lot of interest to see what the new owners of Evernote would do now that they are fully in control of the company. We're starting to see a glimpse of their strategy as they are beginning to introduce a new feature called AI Note Cleanup. Hi, I'm Dave Edwards. Today, we take the beta version for a test drive and I'll share some of my initial observations. Well, here's the way the folks at Evernote are describing this new feature on their website. They say with AI note cleanup, you can quickly and easily tidy up messy scattered notes all without altering their original meaning or tone. No more sifting through disorganized notes to find the information you'll need. Save time and enhance productivity by streamlining your note process, uh, your note taking process by keeping your notes neat and tidy automatically adding formatting, rephrasing incoherent sentences, and fixed typos all in an instant, and also to stay organized and on top of your tasks. Boy, that sounds really great because I have been known to have notes that are not neat and tidy and organized. Let's take a look. So Evernote says they are beginning to roll out the new version that has the uh, note cleanup feature in it. Uh, I received mine, it looks like it's 10.57.6 as the release, so make sure you are running the uh, updated beta rollout. So I just created a sample note uh, of, a, of a meeting, uh, and uh, now I thought we should uh, go ahead and see what the program does. Once I click on the note and I get the toolbar here, uh, you'll notice that there's a new item added called AI Cleanup. So, you know, I've just got some just random points here, nothing uh, organized as bullet points. Uh, in fact, there's some punctuation problems. So let's, uh, let's click on the button and see what happens. Well, the first thing that happens is uh, you get to see this little pop-up, uh, which, uh, which tells you a little bit about it. And it says, by clicking on AI Note Cleanup, you're agreeing, agreeing to the supplemental terms. You might want to read those. Uh, by using AI Note Cleanup, you're authorizing Evernote to send the content of your notes to a third-party AI vendor. To learn more about how we process personal information, please see our privacy policy. So, you know, I, I suspect that there's going to be any number of people who are going to want to look up the uh, terms uh, that go along with uh, the, uh, the new feature. Uh, and it is, you know, obviously it's a legal document, and so you're indemnifying Evernote. Uh, it it very makes it very clear that this is a beta product, uh, and it does include items related to uh, intellectual property. Uh, I am not your lawyer, so I'm not going to spend any time talking about that. But it is something that you'll probably uh, want to uh, want to read. So uh, once you are uh, once you have read this document, uh, we'll try AI Note Cleanup, and uh, now it'll take a few seconds to clean up your note. Obviously, if you have a longer note, it is going to take you a little bit longer. Uh, so what you see here is uh, they've they've made some little fixes. Uh, they have uh, bolded uh, key items. Uh, they have, uh, you know, added some bullet points, uh, so that's very nice. Uh, I'm not sure that all of these items needed to be bolded, uh, but, you know, that, that's just the way it goes. I mean, it, they're, they're doing their best to sort of uh, come up with some improvements. They've added punctuation uh, where it was necessary. A couple, of, uh, a couple of little notes here. First of all... Um, they're asking for our feedback uh, because, you know, obviously they are very concerned at Evernote to design a product that, uh, you know, will be helpful to us. And they're looking for, because this is a beta program, they're even looking for uh, ideas on how they can make the program uh, better. You can undo uh, items by clicking the undo button here. So this was a pretty basic note and it made some basic changes to clean up and make the note look better. Let's take a look at another note. I uh, pulled um, text off of Wikipedia on the Vietnam War. And uh, I, I've 
just very anxious to see what AI cleanup does with this. Uh, you know, it's typical Wikipedia uh, citation. Uh, it's very dense, uh, not only in content, but uh, you know, with footnotes and links to other articles. I mean, that's what makes Wikipedia valuable. Uh, but let's just see for the fun of it what, uh, what the AI cleanup tool will do for us here. So let's click on this here. It's cleaning up our note. This one's taking a little bit longer because obviously there's a lot more in this note. And here you go. So um, what, what it has apparently done, which is kind of cool, it's taken some of the points in the article and made bullet points out of them. Uh, it's created paragraphs where paragraphs previously did not exist. So it has, in my mind, at least made the article just a little bit easier to read. Now, I would make it even more easier to read if it, you know, added uh, maybe a space between paragraphs. I think that would probably clean it up a little bit more. But again, nonetheless, it, it, it does work. Now, you notice here, uh, it, the, the item is grayed out. That's because it has, in fact, uh, been edited already. But if you ever see this item grayed out, uh, there, it's disabled if your note is shorter than 100 characters or longer than 6,000 characters. Uh, so, you know, anything uh, within that window, uh, it, will, it will clean up. Another problem that they initially had with the beta was that non-English notes got translated into English, and they're supposedly uh, working on that problem. A number of people have also suggested it would be really nice to be able to, rather than just undo, it would be nice to be able to compare or at least be highlighted what they've changed. Uh, I don't know whether that's uh, required or not, but it has been a suggestion that uh, I've seen brought forward in a number of, uh, of chat groups. So remember, this is a, a beta version of, uh, of this new AI note cleaning feature by Evernote. I suspect we're going to see some uh, changes and improvements along the way. In fact, uh, if you have this uh, beta version, uh, they're actively seeking our input and feedback uh, so they can make improvements. Um, I think th this is a really neat feature. Uh, as I said, I'm not, uh, when I take initial notes, I'm a little bit disorganized and I'm not a great typist and I go a little bit too fast and inevitably I have to go backwards and clean up my notes later. So this feature uh, potentially will be a big help to me. A couple of things that um, uh, you know I personally would like to see uh, them do would be to, uh, uh, it, rather than just have an undo feature, uh, maybe have a little prompt like Grammarly has, which says, you know, we want to change this here because, uh, you know, this is misstated or uh, we're making some cosmetic improvements or whatever. That's a minor point. I do think that people are going to want more information about the security of the system. Uh, I know uh, right now they're, uh, they're adding explanations that they're not actively sharing data uh, with, uh, with third parties, but the language that they're, they're running right now is a little bit unclear, and I think people will want more security uh, information along the way. So, I mean, I don't think this is a, a game changer. I mean, I don't think people are going to just immediately sign up for Evernote just because of this, uh, but I do think it is a very nice addition to the Evernote portfolio. I'm Dave Edwards.